What's up guys, it's Lionel the Builder back again with another video and today I have a very very special uh, clip for you guys that I think would be the perfect example of what it is like a true uh, experience of a junior developer, of a person who is figuring things out as they go without much uh, professional, you know, perfect understanding of code. So the situation is that I downloaded a template for Next.js in order to serve a client where we're transitioning her old broken WordPress website into a Next.js React website, right? And so I downloaded it figuring that I could figure this out. I've used React enough. I've used Next.js a very a little bit, but still I knew with um, ChatGPT or just reading documentation, I could definitely figure this out. And I went in completely blind, completely inexperienced, and with the help of the chat, with the help of a little bit of help from ChatGPT, and with the help of my chat, because I was live streaming, we were able to get most of the things that I was trying to get done, done. So I figured I would take this from the live stream, clip it, intro it, and post it, and let you guys know to watch this if you're a junior developer and you really want to see what it's like when you're going to be on the job, or if you really want to know that you can get out of tutorial hell and take on the persona of a developer because you are ready, take it from me, take it from looking at my example that I'm giving you as a employed full stack software engineer, you can see that if Lionel can do it, I can do it. Okay, that's what I want for you junior developers out there. I want you to see what it's the true, you know what I mean? The true, oftentimes with YouTube videos, it's the error codes are cut out. The confusion is cut out. The vulnerability is cut out. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming up here being fully transparent, fully imperfect, and showing you guys the real shit. You know what I mean? That's, that's what I think is gonna be my purpose here as a YouTuber. So I hope you guys enjoy. Links in the description, follow them, join the Digital Builders, join the Discord. We're breaking through this year. And I hope you guys enjoy. I'm out. Peace. To figure out the thing that was kicking my ass here is I think I got it figured it out now. I mean, I, at least I know how the project is structured. When you first open it up, wait. Did the server just close? Did I close? npm run dev so when you first open up the project because this is a template right for next.js a next.js uh, react template and when you first open it up it opens up to a home page for the t it's like three three templates in one when you first open it up it's here and I'm choosing this middle one here, so I need that to be the home, right? And then I'll just work from here. So I was trying to figure out like how to get this to be the home and to get rid of everything else, basically. Let's see what Mr. Jippity has to say. The page JSX file, okay, yeah. The PageJSS file in the app folder being the home page suggests that there may be a custom server or routing setup within your Next.js project. Because by default, Next.js looks for the pages directory at the root of your project to handle routing. See, this has no pages directory. However, based on the structure you provided and the behavior you're experiencing, it seems you're looking to make home-2 folder the root or the default project. Here's what you should do. Rename the page JSX inside the app home home to to index.jsx and then move this index.jsx to the pages folder at the root of your project. We don't have a pages folder. Hmm. See, that's where ChatGPT gets funny sometimes, right? And can like spin you in circles if it because there's so many different variables that it doesn't know. So now I'm going to have to say okay, I hear you, but there is no pages directory, right? But I do think it's on to the right idea 
by telling us to rename home dash two to pages.jsx within the app.jsx. Like that's that's obviously the root there. And then what I'm thinking that we do is we just delete all of the other folders that we're not gonna use and then rename that that home dash two just make that as the root within the app.jsx. So I'm going to say that. So there is no pages directory in this custom setup, but I think you're on the right track that I should rename that um, home dash to page.jsx um, and place it within the root of the app folder because that's what's acting as the entry point of the application and then delete all the other folders that we're not using and then that should unless there's gonna throw some errors that should deal with it right in theory check discord Scoot this over here. Hey, Sasuke fam, it's been a while. I'll be there in a few. Word, word. Uh, I've got like four Discord messages. Hold up. Build with the app with Angler. Uh, um change your home page right right okay um indeed there is no pages directory and it's clear that app slash page dot jsx is being used as the entry point of the application the structure is definitely a custom setup it's possible like i should have probably i wish they had further documentation within the readme all it says is nothing right wait it might say more to learn no it just it's talking about next jsx documentation and vercel maybe i should have um deployed this on vercel anyway let's continue uh so it it is possible that this setup was created to mimic or work around certain behaviors that the developer initially intended Here's what you can do to make the home slash page JSX the new entry point. Rename app homes home to page JSX to app dash index. This assumes app dash slash page JSX is currently the entry point. I think it is. Delete or move the other home directories. That's exactly what I was thinking to do. After you've done that, your structure within the app directory should look like this. By doing this, you ensure that visiting the URL slash before deleting any folders, make sure to check whether there are any references or imports. See, that's where we could get um, errors, right? If there's any references or imports within the project that's gonna need those folders. But I'm sure it's nothing that we can't fix. Like we would just go remove the imports, right? Later on. Anyway, uh, before deleting it, you'll need to update those references to avoid breaking your application. I'm not worried about that. After making these changes, ensure that your custom server setup, which we don't, um, or the configuration within the next config doesn't have any rules that might conflict with these changes. Okay. <clears throat> Let's do a real quick, it, it's, they say it also might be beneficial to check the package.json to see if there's any scripts that dictate how the, dictate how the application starts which might give you more insight into how the custom structure is being utilized. If you find any scripts or configurations that seem related to routing or project structure, feel free to share them. All right, so let's look at the package JSON real quick. I'm just gonna copy this and share it. And then what was the other thing it said? The next config.jsx. There's nothing in here. Let's just um, send that as well. Here's the next.config and uh, package.jsx before I start deleting. I'm just gonna send that, send that there and then we'll, we'll do it. So the about, we're using 
let's make sure we're on the right one. We're gonna use home, home dash two. So if I copy all of this, I'm just gonna copy this and I'm gonna replace all of the code from that home one that's popping up first, right? This one, which was the root page JSX from the app folder, which is, let's close all of these and it's this one here. Let's cross our fingers. Let's just copy this. Let's paste it and let's save it. And let's see what happens. Does it compile automatically or do I have to rerun? Um, do I have to rerun anything? Let me tell, hold on. Let me tell my homie I'm live by the way. Not sure if he knows because the uh, one of our one of our friends is um, working on a Figma file for our digital builders site right now. Let me send him this this link real quick so he can hop in here. Um, very very interesting, man. I like this. You know what I mean? It's a little vulnerable, isn't it, to be live chat? This might be valuable for for people who are behind us in the path. I just sent it to him. All right, yo, yo. Okay, so you were here. <laughs> All right, just, just double checking, bruh. Okay, um, now let's see. Look, it worked, it worked. So now, this is what we wanted to happen. A matter of fact, why delete the other stuff and, and possibly cause errors if we don't need to? Because she is not going to type in any of the random like if you do go to her website and you hit slash home dash three it's going to take you to here but there's no reason for anyone who ever goes to her website to ever type that url in so we might get away with not deleting any of that stuff and it's just going to work properly right that's what we're gonna do. I'm um the routes are still there, yeah. But this is just it's this lady here, right? This website, wait. This is the website here. Eileen Brewer. This is a WordPress website where the person who, who created this website like ghosted her and doesn't talk to her no more. So we cannot get hit that to connect. Why did we need to talk to him again? At the time, I couldn't log into this website, but now I can. Um, so I was just gonna re just get her off of WordPress and build her a React website that we have full control over because the WordPress has a whole bunch of old ass plugins and stuff like that. That um, and plus it's WordPress. I want it to be React. But we're basically taking her picture. It's just a um, business card for this lady, right? Who, it's just a one pager. She, it's not like she's ever gonna have any users sign in or anything like that. This website has been down for so long and she barely even uses it. So what we're doing is we're gonna transfer this website, this one page, simple, short website over to Wait, let me close some of these tabs. That one, that one, that one. Over to this, right? So all of the routes that she's gonna need are here. And I'm actually gonna remove some of these. Like, she, I'm sure she doesn't want resume. I'll delete resume, I'll delete blogs. It's, and I might even delete works. Works, unless we're gonna use this as like a, I remember she was saying something like, go to her LinkedIn and get, um, get more stuff to put. So I'm gonna leave that one. But I'm gonna delete resume and I'm gonna delete blogs and it'll just be home. I'm about to put her picture in here. Home will be this, right? And then about will be the about section, this right here. I'll take her picture and all the information and that'll just go here. And then what I do will be this, turn ideas into a startup, pitch training for entrepreneurs, panelists, speakers, leaders, inspiring youth to pursue STEM. 
maybe no nah, i won't need those pictures but um and then clients all of this part here will be this that's what made me choose that template is because it seemed so the routes yeah yeah the routes are still there but but no one will they'll be like hidden routes no one will there'll be no reason for anyone to ever type because there'll be no buttons for you to click to lead you that way everything is just going to be here now if for some weird reason someone goes to about two and changes this to like slash three and hits enter it would okay see it wouldn't or what about if they just remove that and it just or what about about one whoa I don't know, but now, now the proper home is the proper home. That's the main thing I was worried about. So next, the next task would be to get her picture right here, right? Now we need to figure that part out. Where's her assets? I guess that would be public assets images um feature images icons yeah man i really wish this pro I, I didn't think about that this template did not come with any type of like documentation or instructions so we really we really got some figuring out to do here let's look at the at this home page at the top we're importing header five importing other components header five Okay, that's the header. So when we need to um, remove some of the header stuff, we'll go there. Personal info too. So there's a component for personal info. Page wrapper, header five, that's the header. Personal info too. I'm guessing that's where her um, profile picture goes. Personal info too is in components, home, personal info. So that's down here, components, home, personal info, personal info too. Okay, so here's her image. Yeah, this is it, right? So download CV, Let, let's take another look just to make sure. Yeah, this is why it says download CV. Now what, what is that, what's that for? Oh, so this is where you would put your um, your resume. So I'll just remove that. Let's do a test to see if we can just straight up remove that, that button there. That's this anchor tag. Or maybe do I take the entire div out? Bostami. Okay, let's, let's start simple and change her name first. <laughs> Before we start breaking stuff. Where's the name? What is the name? Mona Lisa Ashley. Why are we not seeing Mona Lisa Ashley in here? All right, let's search the project for that. Control Shift F. Mona. So Mona Lisa Ashley is in data. Okay. Damn, did they make this shit overcomplicated, bro? All right, so now we have to change this to Eileen Brewer, and it should change that, right? Okay, it worked. It worked. So that's how we're going to have to do this by searching where everything is at and then changing it that way. Okay. <laughs> well, why wouldn't it be, you, you see where I was going with it, right? You would expect that to be here. So, so you have to make all of these extra com or maybe, maybe they did that because there's three different, um, versions of the template. I, I don't know who, who knows. All right. But, um, 
UI UX designer. So she is a, what is she? Expert speaker in entrepreneurship and youth STEM. I'm just gonna throw that in there because it's here until further notice. When I go to show it to her, I'll see if she wants to change that. So where was that? So it's the title here. Seems a little long. Okay, and now I see where the image, the image source is right here. So, so that's, so we'll, we'll have to put a path to the image. We'll figure that out in a second. Save that. <clears throat> Expert speaker in entrepreneurship, youth and STEM. Now, she said all she wants in here is her LinkedIn. So, and again, now we got to figure out where the, where these damn um, social icons are coming from. Because there are no social icons here, and there are none here either. Hmm. All right, we got to, we got to search that now, right? What if I inspect? Will that give us any clues? If I inspect this. Where is there a, uh, can we check over here? Hmm. Portfolio info JS. Let's see. Wait, let me do one more. Let me do one more look over here. Whoop. Bostami social link. It's Bostami personal info social link. That's what I'm gonna look look for in the project, right? Or what if I just type social dash link? Okay, yep. It's in a CSS file in public assets. Okay. So now, how are we gonna figure out how to delete some of them though? <clears throat> no, wait, this is just the CSS for the social link. This is not, that's not gonna do it. It's gotta be in a component. Oh, you were right, you were right. Personal info too. That's what you said, right? Personal info too. Yeah, you were right. It's this. Okay, so. All right, so we got, there's the title. Here's the social media data. It's mapping over that. Check personal, yeah, yeah, you were right. Um, okay, but the thing is, I need to delete Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram and only leave LinkedIn. I remember that specifically from here. All she wanted her website to do was link to the LinkedIn. She don't want her phone number in here. She doesn't want her email in here. This is literally just a business card. She wants her about me, a contact form, and a LinkedIn. So we need to figure out how to delete those other social media icons. Hmm. I'm trying not to, I'm trying not to chat GBT this cause we're, we've done pretty good so far, but I'm, I think we might have to see what GPT has to say about that, but let's do some looking. Let's, let's, let's do a little bit of looking first. Um, obviously it's social media data is coming from somewhere, right? Personal info.jsx. What's this one? I'm thinking that some some of these is just the other templates though. That's what makes it so tricky. If it was just one, but we're let's just remember that we're two. Social media data, okay. Social uh, media data. It probably would have dashes in between. Social 
Just the word social. Rapper, three, post on your social media links. That's for three. Custom CSS, is it this? That's CSS though. Damn. All right, social media data. Personal info JSX and back into two, right? Social JSX, is it this? This might be it. Yes, that was it, that was it. You're a genius, bruv, that was it, okay. So wait, so what is this? This is a, oh, so this is a component. This is a component with all the social media data. Okay, word. So we would just remove them from here. How did, okay, let me look. Where is that over here? I'm just curious now. Oh, okay. So see, that'll help us. We're gonna need that information later, so. So it was this socials.jsx component. So that's, see, we're learning as we go. So inside, so he, he basically created the data components and then he's referencing them in all of the templates. So that even, and then he just imported this stuff into all his, all of his three different, um, inside of his three different portfolios that he built, the templates that he built. I, that's smart actually. So that way you can build three different shit. You can build 10 different templates if you do, if you structure it that way and then just imp make the different designs and import your data from there. True. I get it. All right. So we're going to delete Facebook and just to make sure that, that we're on the right track here, right? Wait, do I need to? Hold on. Make sure to not throw an error. Looked like it was about to do an error. I really hope that this doesn't have to be in here. Let's delete this. Oh no, that's LinkedIn. Let's delete this one and see what happens. Cause that would suck. Save. And then go back to here. It's gone. Okay, it worked. It worked. Yeah, right? That's true. Hey, it worked. So that's all we gotta do. We just have to delete. Man, I might use this for other clients, you know? Now that I kinda, now that I know it a little bit, I could use this for other people. All right, let's delete the other two cause she doesn't want those. Wait, did I do that wrong? Cause I see property assignment expected. Hold on, let's back it up, back it up. Let's do this one at a time and surgically. Delete, save, view. Okay, that's a little ugly now. I might have to talk to her about that. Like, can we please put your other social medias here? Because it looks a little lonely now. Delete that comma. Damn, see, it's doing, let's just see what happens. I knew that was gonna happen. All right, wait. Back it up, back it up. Why, when you delete the last one, does it throw an error? Does anybody know? Or do I have to leave the comma? Delete, error. Delete. Maybe this is something to ask ChatGPT if nobody knows. Delete the. Delete that online too. So wait, after I delete this, I have to delete that one too. Oh. Stupid. Okay. So there we go. Cool, cool, cool. All right, we're rolling, we're rolling. 
Now we're getting somewhere. Damn, I don't like how that looks, man. I wish I could make the LinkedIn thing needs to be bigger then, right? Is there a way to increase the icon size? I'm not gonna lie, that kind of looks like shit now. I mean, maybe she doesn't care. Let's try to get the picture in here next. It's gonna really look crazy when when we I think I'll change this download CV to link to the about section or something, man. I ho hopefully hopefully she just likes it and it works out, you know. Yo, what up, bro? How um I do I've been doing these kind of random lately and I need to come up with a schedule. I'm thinking Mondays and Wednesdays for sure. I think I'm gonna do it Monday and Wednesday Wednesday for sure. But join the Discord. Uh, it, it, the link is in the description. If you're not in the Discord yet, I send a um, notification. I like tag everybody when I'm going live and, and freelancing. This is what what I what I've been doing lately. Um, this is episode 17, I think it is. All right. Next mission is to get her picture in there. Um, what was that over here? Right. We're looking for image source two. So, in assets, if we go to assets, assets, image, personal info. Why did he spell parson with it? Person with an A. Assets, image, personal image, two. Okay, so we're basically replacing this. Word. No, we're not because it's different. Why is there no two fit? Oh, okay. So it's actually Parson image three is the path. Um, let me just double check that. Yeah, that's what it is. So what I'm gonna do is see if I can um, save her picture and, and literally just replace it, name it as that, and that should work, right? If I save this image here, save it. What? Ain't no way I'm not on the internet. Save. Is that from, cause her website is so broken? It might be that. Um. Okay, option two, let's go into, let's go in here. I'm pretty sure I got, I have um, these pictures somewhere on my computer, or in a Google Drive or something like that. Damn, is it not loading? Images. All right, let's check, let's check my computer. I might have it somewhere in here. All right, hold on, hold on. Gonna do some, some digging around. I think I got it. Nope, I have two pictures of her. We need the full Wait, let me check my Google Drive. Images. Damn. Hmm. I always assumed that I would just be able to get them out of here. None of these... So it's not letting me download from her website. That is a problem I have never had before. Can we copy image address? Maybe move it out of here? Wait, it's, that's still gonna be... Let's see what happens if we post this in here. Cause it has to be, okay. Can I save it from here? Hey, it worked. It worked. I don't know why that worked, but it worked. 
All right, now let's let's move this into the project over here, right? And then let's change the name. What was the one? Oh, let's move it up to Parson Image. Yes. Now let's change this name. Well, let's copy this. Delete this. Now let's rename this to that, right? Parson image dash two save. Was it two? I really hope it was. And let's see. Oh, uh, shit. Wait, it was this one. It was three. It was three. Um, damn, I deleted the wrong one. Let's back it up. Back it up. All right, so we got to delete this one. Rename Parson Image 3. Save. Wasn't that it? That was definitely it, right? Shit. Hold on. Because there's another option if this doesn't work. We have another a route that I was trying to avoid. I mean, we could just make our own, right? But wouldn't it be easier if we could just replace this? Let's take another look at, um, what was it? Profile info. Okay, image source two. This is the <laughs> personal info, personal info, Parson, dash image dash three dot png is the path so if we take this name or we could just make our own and then okay what if we just change this path right if we copy re relative path yeah i figure if we copy relative path and let's just swap it out now, right here, right? Cause where are we? Or, or just change the name to um. Let me make this something easier to type, like eb. Dot png. And now it's in the same folder, so we should be able to just put delete all this and just put eb, and then save it. And now it should work. Yes. Little blurry. Little blurry. Little um, funny. Don't really fit. I mean, can we still go dark mode? I don't know, man. I hope she likes this, dude. I really hope she likes this. Let's check out mobile view. Whoop. I think it's all right. It's all right. And then you click these three and you're going to get to go to her other stuff. Not not too shabby. All right. <clears throat> yeah, we're rolling. We're rolling. Feel like I should do the logo. Um just I just want to finish it page by page. All right. Download CV. What can we do about that? Cuz she's not going to have a resume up here. We could make this link to the about. That's what I think it makes the most sense if we change download CV to about and just take you there. Right? So let's do that. So we go back to that page.jsx and wait, no. Oh shit. 
We don't need socials anymore. Um, we don't need profile info anymore, do we? No. We don't need the JFig. Where was that download CV thing at again? I think it was in um, Home 2. Damn. I forgot where that shit was at. Oh, oh, it's um it's it's in the root of the app. It's in the root of the app JS. JSX. It's in here. Right? No, it isn't. Where was that? Hmm. Let's just search it, man. Let's search it. I lost it. Control Shift F. What does it look like? Download CV. We need to change that. Download personal info.jsx. That's where it is. Yeah, that's where it is. But we would be in two. Right? It's this one. Okay, here it is. It was in the personal info component. Okay. So, so this is, <clears throat> I probably am going to need to change some of, like, I don't want her title, like, you know what I mean? If you're going to, wherever it would be, it's saying Bost Bostami somewhere up, up in the top, but we'll worry about that later. Anyway, download CV. It's an anchor tag, so that's just the styling of it, right? That's the color of it. Class name. Postami personal info button. All right, so we're going to change this to about. About us. What is this, Markdown or, or JSX? All right, about us. Now the problem is that looks like a download icon. I need this about us icon to be in there. I don't think, see only like guys like us would really notice or probably care about that though, right? Not about us, about me. Or just about. Why not just about? Just like that says about, right? Hmm. What I say about or more info? I'll just put it as about. And when people wait, it still did the same thing. Oh, true, true. I need to change that. All right. Where does it say, okay, it's downloading here. Try to add Le LinkedIn icon and add it inside the download button and you can change the content to visit profile. True, true. So add the LinkedIn icon. Wait, so put this icon in here wait mm -hmm. visit profile then that'll take you and then so you're basically saying like remove instead of having both of these just have um the linkedin icon inside this button here add it inside the download button and then change it to visit profile, right? And then we need to change the functionality of that button, which is right now it's set to download this PDF. So we would need to remove this here, right? Yeah, true, just one button would be better. I agree, And but we still needed to be that LinkedIn icon, so. 
Hmm. That's a curveball for sure, but we could do it. So, so I need to pull back up the um, the social links, right? That's where that was at. Damn, I should have I should have kept that up. Um, social. Where was it? It was this component here. Wait, the the LinkedIn icon is not here. That would be in the CSS. How is it not even? Oh, here it is. It's this. Is this the um? So this is linking it to it. Data, social media data. Yeah. So where do we go to get the icon? for that um for linkedin that would be inside css right in here somewhere a class from oh okay so that's what Wait. Social in here. Oh, that's what this that's what FA stands for. Font awesome. So just by typing in by typing class name FA dash this right here or, or this entire thing probably would add that icon there. What did I just, okay. Just by taking this and putting that into that anchor tag over here somehow, right? Or um, here, because that's what this is, right? Wait, not that one. Over here, yeah, Bas class name, Basami, back to the professional file you mean personal where the button is yeah this one here right so i would change basically change this take this entire thing out and replace it with with this right right yeah Let's copy this and then paste it. Well, the button's still going to be a circle. The href is now going to wait. Yeah, the button will still be a circle. So can we just add another one? So can we put a comma? Can we put a comma here and just add it? Or no, maybe not. How do we incorporate that into here? Span style, FA regular, FA download. That's what's making it act as a download. So I would probably remove this, right? Cause we're not going to download. We're just going to link it to her LinkedIn copy 26 to 32 and paste it inside of the span remove the eye tag yeah that's what I was thinking because that's what's making it download right remove that and now copy you said copy 26 And the href. Oh, true, true. And download even. Copy all or delete all of this. And now paste in. Now, where do we put this? Is my next question. Right here? Or do we add another? Um, 
Remove the element, the download property. Right. Do we put a, a comma in this? Or do we just put it without the comma? No. How do you add that into the... Wait, if the other thing was inside the button without being here, we could do it like here? With another... um. A tag would it be like or no that would be a href wouldn't it for the icon because then you're gonna want to click on the icon to go to wait a minute how would we incorporate that now would we have to do like a class name equals this And then with the href leading to her LinkedIn. Well, let's take a look at this to see if that worked. Wait. Three errors. Initial UI does not match what's rendered on the server. Expecting server HTML to attain a hold up. Where, how do we, how do we put an href into here? Let me back it up. Because just to look at how it was before. Oh, href equals. So right here, I would put the, um, the link to where we're trying to go. Yeah. Let me get her, let me get her LinkedIn for there. I haven't been on LinkedIn in so long. All right. We need Eileen. My bad. Let's copy this. The icon is going to be inside button and it would not do anything. But the A tag has a span and you need to keep the I tag and add class that you already copied. Okay. Um, keep the I tag. All right, let me back up then. Keep that and then put this in here, right? Slash, do I leave the slash there or remove the slash? Let's see. Definitely remove download. Save. Okay, the button is working. Delete the download property and include, include, yeah, right. Okay. So, and we're going to change, um, Whoops. Shit. Add the targets blank in the A tag. In this A tag here? Like replace in what a tag? This one with the button circle? Order to open a new tag. Oh, true. Um, so wait, like.
replacing um, button circle? Because I was thinking that that would like that would change the button. Let me see. Oh, yeah, see? Damn it, it still did that. Outside of the class. Oh, okay. Hold up, let me back up. So... Add a target in in the A tag, but where? At the end? Like comma. Hold up. Class E is a truff target oh okay gotcha gotcha sweet like that oh with equals nice Damn, still, um, wait, maybe it didn't compile yet. No, still didn't work. Oh, it, it did work. It did work. I'm tripping. It worked. It, sweet. Okay. Nice. Now... Yeah, yeah, it did work. <laughs> Sweet. Now we need to put this icon into here. The LinkedIn icon into this. Right? Hmm. So, class name, Postami personal info button. And it was, you said change, um, change about to contact me, right? Contact me. Yeah. Contact me. And then, why is it showing that? Download class button to circle. It's gonna be the same. Links you to there. It's a color. Class name is icon. So it would be this that we change, right? Cause that icon, and we need to change that to the social, to this. Let's try that. Copy. Oh wow, look at this. ChatGPT, ChatGPT is now inside my right click. That's pretty cool. Add the class inside the I tag. Right, right. This one here. Right. Save. Okay. <laughs> now delete this one yo what's up bro delete that one okay okay now we need a space there I, that doesn't really look like linkedin anymore though that's the only thing but hey still now how do we put a space in between in between LinkedIn and contact me. Would I just put a space here? 
Would that work? No. <laughs> uh, do you have? Do you know how to do that? How do we get some breathing room here? Or what if we just remove the in? Maybe we don't need that LinkedIn there, right? Because it doesn't even look like LinkedIn anymore. Um, is it Tailwind? I don't think so. Maybe. Actually, I think I do see Tailwind logo. Let's see. Bootstrap? It's a bootstrap. Or is this Tailwind? Wouldn't it be at the top? Like, would that be in package JSON version? Yes, lint framer next photo time and SAS. In the class where you add the icon margin template yes you can do it margin in the class where you add the icon in the class where you added the icon add pe dash or three so we added that here button circle we added the icon here so what right here we would do PE dash three, like, like so. Save. Oh, okay. Hmm. That kind of looks like LinkedIn. I feel like it should be af maybe after the contact me would make me like that more. So let's try, wait. How do we put that? What if I move this after, oh, after contact me? Hold on, wait a minute. I gotta take the whole thing, okay. If I take this and put it after here and save that. Now it's outside of the button. Okay. Why is that? Why is that outside of the button now? Hold on. Increase the i. Okay. Increase the icon size. Add a background color white and change the color as the button background. So that it looks like LinkedIn, true. Okay, then it would look like, well, if if the N was blue, hmm. I mean, in that case, what if we just, hmm. Does it say episode one? It's supposed to say 17. Yeah, <laughs> I'm tripping. I was kind of rushing. I was kind of rushing. That's my fault. It's probably, is it too late for me to edit that? I don't know if I can even change that. Maybe I'll just have to change that after. Oh yeah, my bad. Oh, I can. Okay, 17. Good eye, man. Us developers and our attention to detail. I was rushing though. Okay, we're good though. It, it should be changed now, right? All right. Okay, so. 
<laughs> All right. So, okay. As you can tell, I don't have a lot of experience with CSS outside of asking GPT, GPT to change stuff. But you said increase the icon size, add background color white, and change the color. What about just removing the button? Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking too, right? Instead of customizing this button, because now to me the button looks weird because it's so like long. I'm not a fan of long ass buttons like that. I'm looking at the mobile view. Granted, LinkedIn looks too small. It looks so much better when it was a whole bunch of like LinkedIn, Facebook, email. But she does. She only wants people to be able to contact her through LinkedIn from her website. Hmm. Just removing the button and adding more space. We were space between add more margin. Sure. I want what I would really want to do is to make this icon size bigger here. Just make this bigger and okay now it doesn't work but make it to where that just works again and um probably get rid of this contact me button but then i have a feeling that it's gonna be a little too like nothing here yeah right at that point do we even need either either of these right because what else we're going to have the about section. Is there any buttons over here? Hmm. She has a contact form. I don't even know if how that's going to be another mission is figuring out how to make sure that this thing's working. Remove that. Woo! Um, hmm. Decisions, decisions. It definitely, definitely looks lonely in desktop view. How about on the phone? Like, is this so bad? Eileen Brewer, expert speaker in entrepreneurship and youth, and youth sin. LinkedIn contact me that's all she wants for her contact me for sure hmm I don't know man maybe we remove maybe if we remove the LinkedIn button then it won't be so bad let's let's take a look at that without the um, LinkedIn button in there personal info button The top, the social media button, I mean. That would be here. All right, let's see. What's gonna happen if we delete this? Is this gonna break the project? No. It's just gonna be an empty white spot. Okay, we can't have that. We cannot have that. or a sentence instead hmm like um I think I think it would be better if this actually takes you to the LinkedIn and then this takes you to the about section so that that way so that way you're still on the website you know what I mean? I kind of don't like how, because I feel like people are going to be drawn to click that and then they're going to they're gonna go here and have to come back. Whereas, to me, user experience wise, this taking you to the about section 
it's like okay now n they're gonna naturally like use this from there on you know what i mean and then that way this will just be like a real quick hero section like when they first get to the website they click this thing here and it takes you to here to the about me and then it like they're rolling from there is is honestly what i'm thinking would be the better way to go than to the only button that they can click under her the only button that they can click under her profile taking you away you know and then either they're just gonna like add her and never come back i feel like that's a much better flow just in case just in case right away they don't click any of these they come here try to scroll down and then oh about and then they click that i mean it's gonna take you here um the template has a form you can just leave the contact me instead of taking customers to her linkedin direct them to the contact form so if i do contact me and make it go here true true and that makes more sense than the about as well because you know now they could just go ahead and contact her that's true and then we would just need to configure that later. That, that's a good point. So yeah, let's do that. Let's do that then. Um, and then let's make her LinkedIn take you there again. Okay. That was a cool idea though, you know, and I got to learn a little CSS at the same time. <laughs> Target equals underscore blank. Gotta remember that. All right. So we're gonna go, let's just remove, wait, whoa, we don't wanna, okay, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. We're just gonna have to go backtrack like this. All right, cause when it said, what did it say at first? Download, hold on, hold on. Okay, there we go. And then, so now this works. No, it doesn't. What do we do to make, what do we do to stop that from working? Oh, it, it never worked. We need to change this to be her, um, her actual LinkedIn for it to work in the, in the first place. Put this here, save. Now that should work. Okay. But we're going to add target. Hold on. I remember. We're going to add target equals underscore blank. Right? With a comma in between. Did I learn that? Did I learn that right? Uh-oh. Wait. Was it without that? Damn. What am I doing wrong, bro? Oh, is it different because it's not um, with, the, with, with these in there? How do I get this to open up in another? Oh, would I add it like this? Target uh, underscore blank. I'm guessing. There we go. It works. You, t you taught me some shit, bro. Thank you. All right. So that does that. Wait. No, it doesn't work. That didn't work, did it? Or did it not compile yet? In the href. Oh, okay. In the href. So here? Wait, that's the same thing, isn't it? Oh, oh, like this. Before the comma, maybe? Without, without this? Or do we have to do maybe this thing? Damn it, I don't know, man. Put it in the, put it in the href. Hold on.
in the side quotation, you have to go to the personal profile again and try to do it from there. Because expert cons social media at the end. So inside the quotation at the end, oh, okay. So like here, maybe target um, with this or without that. It's not looking right so far. Um, like that. Target equals, maybe equals here. Damn. Look, we haven't, we haven't asked chat GBT anything in a while. Let's just see. Let's see what, what that says. Okay. Wait, what is this? Based on the package, create a pages. No. See, chat GBT be like on some other stuff sometimes. All right. It's not going to work because it's a separate property. True, because it's a it's like a component, right? Imported. Let's see what 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 they have to say about it. Okay. I'm trying to get this uh, component to open in a new tab. How do I implement target uh, underscore blank into this component to function properly? It's not going to work because it's a separate property. Let's see if, if you are if you are correct. Property that tells the A tag where to go or what to do. It's saying add it like that. Oh, add some extra stuff. What's with the extra stuff? Damn, why did it? It remixed it completely. This way? Let's see. Let's 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 give it a shot. See if this works. You know, there's so many different ways to do stuff, right? It added all sorts of new, new shit in here. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> Whoa. Nope. Not even close. Um, hold on. Maybe close, but true. Yeah, because this is this is uh, React, so JSX. We're we're doing it. But let's see what what they said though. In this snippet, I'm mapping over social media data array to create an anchor anchor tag for each item. The target equals blank attribute is what causes the link to open in a new tag. The reference, or what does rel stand for? The rel no opener, no referrer attribute provides added security, which is particularly important when using target blank to protect against window object attacks. I'm sure nobody's gonna try to hack this lady's business card. Include this social media links component wherever you need to render the social media link in your React tag. Make sure that the class name you provided corresponds to a valid yeah it does okay so let's try this without that no opener whatever thing maybe it'll work then but it basically what is k link id let's just try oh they kind of changed it into an anchor tag oh because of the map in HTML, you can just add it right is, it, is, is that why people, one of the reasons why people hate or on React sometimes, you know? What if, let, let's try this just to see. I'm just curious what will happen if I paste it like they said, right? Even though I know it's not going to work. Save it. And then when it breaks. Now, send this. And be like, it didn't work. Whoa. Hold up. 
local host. Okay. I'm just curious. Sometimes it apologizes like my bad. Um cannot read property of 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 map. It can't even it can't map for some reason. And this is also like a custom template, so I don't who knows. It can't read properties of map. Can you just do it within the component without um adding extra stuff we didn't ask for right <laughs> exactly right not even close <laughs> no nah, man i'm used to this bro i am i am well well acquainted with man with going back and forth if you look at my chat gbt history and saw me like how i actually work with my job bro i'm just constantly learning and, and doing shit like this constantly i expect stuff to not work honestly damn look at how look at how big it turned that file into what the social media data is undefined and blah 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 to fix the error ensure that the black that thing is imported into the blah here's an example what no we're not doing all that man okay so they're saying now all right all right let's 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 back it up see this is how chat can send you down a rabbit hole because now it wants me to go import this into like the other file which would probably make it work hopefully but if not it's gonna come up with some other thing that we gotta do and, and it just turns into like all of this extra shit where we're just we could probably just figure out how to make add the href to the initial component so let's let's back it up and give it a better prompt i think would be the the correct thing to do the rail no operator attribute isn't hurting your project came in don't know exact error but the rail attribute to be okay okay maybe we should um yeah but if this is just so so what this is is wait let me get it get it working again save so here we are right we're trying to get the um this social media we're trying to get that social media icon to open up in a new tab not not like this right so just the href target underscore blank was not working right um what did you guys say you literally just added it to html for your project just now uh my bad i wasn't really hold on my bad i wasn't i wasn't reading for a second let me go back let's try to personal profile different in html you can just add it to the href ChatGPT doesn't know the structure of the project. True, true. Um, stay one of one. You literally just added it to the rel. It needs to be there. What about? True, it doesn't. But I did send it. I sent it the component structure a while ago. Maybe like it doesn't save. Doesn't save that. But okay. Be before we go, try something else. Last but not least, I'm gonna give it one more chance and say is there any way you can just simply add href um what was it target underscore blank to this component with the, and it work properly without adding um extra things we're not asking for or or just to work to function correctly as is i don't know show us the personal info file to see if we okay i'll, I'll do that the personal wait before we go absolutely you can add the target 
and then it goes and creates the map again. Okay. Can you do that without mapping over the array? Because it's not. Yeah, it's just a component. That's what I'm wondering. Okay. Yeah, no. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. You're right. Um, the personal info file. So back over here is the personal info info uh, component, which is HTML. So I think you I think you guys are right. We got where is it? Oh, here's the social media um, map. Here's the div. Here's the um, the button, right? Download. That's the second one. I think. Which one was the um, the LinkedIn button? Bustami personal info button. Line twenty six up here oh right 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 this is it right here okay so so we would add the href here maybe href um what was the structure again href um target was it href equals target uh underscore blank Something like that, right? In the A tag. Oh, in here. Oh, right, 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 right here. Wait, do we need this though? Or, um... Blink. Maybe after this? Target, um, target, underscore, blank, hmm, comma, geez Louise, target equals blank. Target equals underscore blank. Do we need this elm dot element element dot href or can I remove that? <clears throat> href. You need the URL. Wait, you need the link. Oh, oh, okay. So wait, true, true. So we need to get the link from here. My bad, my bad, my bad. What about, um, right. Okay. All day Dre is about to, about to do it. We need it because it's using it. I bet you it's, What's fucking us up too is the delay between the me and the chat. I know that that is also causing us confusion here. Blank in quotes, right? The href attribute is not for a list. It's for an a tag, an anchor tag, or React link tag, which you can import React Router DOM. See, this is uh, um. This is Next.js, so it's um, it's one of those, you know, how Next.js works. It's, we're not, they're not using React Router. The target blink needs to talk to the URL link. True, true. So, so where, where do we put the link? Do we put that into the href 
as well. <laughs> while we're while we're deliberating, let me copy this just to see and show them like okay, line 26 here is the um matter of fact, I should have just instead of showing the whole thing, I should have just said like just this tiny part here, right? Yeah, right here. Because this is actually this one. Yeah, this is very similar to what it was building anyway. Yeah, let's send this entire thing here and say add. Can you add href underscore blank to this? And then, of course, like you said, we also need the link. Here's the link. Sending to this link here in a new tab. Yeah, no, nah, no, no problem, bro. It's that, what do you call it? Component file structure, I think, where like, instead of React Router, it's actually the, um, these are the routes here, like about, blog, contact. Like all you do is you just make a folder. Um, href, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So like Carlos said, the target blank needs to talk to the, oh, blah, 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 blah. So, so basically like he said, href, but what about this elm element.href thing? Do we remove that or do I do it after that? Do I just add that? You know what I mean? They said do it this way. Okay, they kept that in there. Target equals blank. They just said add. Wait. Is that completely different? Link key. A, yeah. I'm following. But href. What's messing me up is the structure. Okay, let's try and like make it look like how they're doing it. They have the A, their A tag is basically, yeah, that, right? And then, all right, let's just copy this and do the old replace see what happens save we'll fix how it looks later if it works okay it works it works god damn it it works Now, how and why is the next question. How do you form, is there a shortcut to formatting? Does anybody know the, um, the command key to make everything just how it's supposed to look? Let me see. If I right click, format document, shift alt F. Okay, there we go. Right, right, right. It did it, man. It did it. It did it. Cause look. <laughs> that's dude, that's how I bro, if you saw me we not we're not even gonna talk about what I be doing at work. I just be on chat GPT half the time, dude. Half the time. Alright, so uh social media map element link key. I always try and go back and understand though. So I'm not cheating. You know what I mean? Like you still got to read it and see like, okay, cause I'm constantly trying to learn, you know, obviously I'm new at coding, you know, so we can't, you can't not know our shit for one. Okay. So style, color, element, color. So it did basically it added. Okay. One of y'all said that just target equals blank. But you, someone said you, it needs the link though. They didn't even add the link in here. They didn't add the link in here. Hmm? 
Okay. They didn't add the link, but they did add the no opener, no refer. So you were right about that, bro. They definitely made sure that that's in there. Um, class name. Interesting. Well, problem solved. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. GPT. All right. So, so that takes you there. Now the next thing, and it opens it in a new, right? So do we want to make it bigger? Is that going to be a rabbit hole? Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> for real, for real, for real. <laughs> so now we need to make download, um, take us to contact. We need to make download, take us to contact. That shouldn't be so, so crazy, right? That's not so crazy. But first we're going to change this to con to contact um just to contact me right change that to contact me now we need to re remove this download pointer thing there would that be this that is this right just remove this here Save that. Let's take another look. That didn't do anything. Remove class name icon. Needs to go away. Save. Did that do it? Yo, how is nothing changing? FA download. Maybe that's it. Save. Right, right, right. What the hell was I just changing then? Okay. I think that was the um the functionality of the download cuz before it was downloading. When you would click that, it would download the resume. So I think that's what we just removed as well. You don't always have to use the link tag in React. As a matter of fact, it's better for in-app page changes. You still use it for off-site links though. Okay. So now we need contact me to take us over here to contact slash two. So that would be another, um, hmm. The href will take you to a different page. Okay. we. Okay, wait, wait. About, let's look at how this is working, right? About, it's just, it's all of these, right? The, um, there. So, in order to, to get our contact me to now do that, right? We would add an href into the i tag or... Where would we add the href to take us to the contact um, contact dash two is where we need to go. So let's look at let's look at how we just did it here. We just put target equals blank. Yo, how does this how did this thing know to go to that link? We oh oh because the link is here. It, it already imported the link through there. So this is a little different setup for the, um, for the button, right? It's a different setup for this one down here, but it should still be an href equals. So let's do that. Let's just add, um, Hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just start with, wait, inside the a, inside the a tag, right? target oh wait no href equals in quotes contact dash two save that's what it is right let's go back here damn i really thought i was cooking i really thought that was it did i remove the let, let me back up and make sure when i was deleting all that random 
stuff, I didn't delete anything we needed. We had that, we had that. Okay, here's href right here. That's where I messed up at. Okay, so this is saying href is gonna download. So let's delete the download, right? Oh, well, we'll first also remove the, um, remove this, we don't need this. Actually, we don't need this i tag at all, do we? If I'm not mistaken, let me make sure. That in, yeah, yeah, okay. Back it up, back it up. All right, so now we need to take this href here and make this actually be slash contact dash two, if I'm not mistaken. Save, come back, there we go. I did it. I did it. No GPT. No, no lifelines from the chat. <laughs> All right, cool, cool. So that's the first page, man. That's, that's the first page. And I don't think she's not one of those clients that are like, you know, picky, really. She doesn't really care, honestly. Whatever she does, all of this traveling around the world, STEM teaching stuff, they don't really need, they don't really need fancy websites. She had, she had this as, as her website for a very, very long time. And it's still to this day with, a, with no SSL certificate, which we're going to get that. We're going to get that set up. All right. So, uh, I don't, this is code and chill. So I don't want to open up Canva and make her a, um, a, a a logo i don't want to bore you guys with that yeah right she's not she's not picky she's she's like the coolest person too bro super super chill lady she actually hooked me up with with the job with the startup that i work for because she runs a um an accelerator program so people have to like she's the boss of shark tank in my town basically so there's all these different startups that have to um, like go through her. And what does every startup need? Developers. That's why I always tell people the tech mark, the tech um, economy is crazy right now. But watch those startup communities. I know people don't like working. For, startups have a bad rep for like not wanting to pay enough and shit like that. So that's a whole nother story. But if this is your your first job, like hey, you never know. They're all different. Anyway. Um, that's the first page. I'm feeling it. And then, so next would be about me. We need to go here, which is, what is that? About me dash two. So that would be, here's home two. That would be about two page JSX. So that's this thing here. Um, the title we should change, right? Let's go ahead and, and change this just to about. We don't need all that extra stuff in there. Description, <clears throat> voice, voice crack. Description about section, I don't know. <clears throat> um, about section. And then, so here we got a React component, which is importing some header two. So header two is this at the top, which we're going to need to edit this. I'm going to remove the resume section. I guess we'll go ahead and start there. Remove the resume section and remove the blog section out of the header. And I just want to see what happens there, you know? Thanks, bro. I'm, sh I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. If you, sometimes you need to get up and go for a walk, go for a jog, go for a workout. Like there's been so many times when I was stuck on something and I just needed to go to sleep. 
Um, and then when you, when you wake up, you, you have better ideas to try stuff. Header two is where we need to go. So headers, header two, and then um, we're gonna remove some of these. Menu items, link, use state, menu, use path. So there is a next navigation that we're importing. Importing images. Um, hmm. This is the state of the menu. They're also importing the dark mode. I guess I'll leave that in for her. I don't know if, if she's going to want to use this or not. But I'll leave it in there. Um, document, body, style. That's for the background. There's another background image for some reason. Add light. Handle dark mode. This is all for that state. Oh, so that's why we're using state management here because it's for the light mode or the dark mode. That's what all that was about. Now return um, <clears throat> div class name, Bostami header container so it's a container for for the menu items class name header row so these are header logos so home okay here we go so now here's where we're at the menu this first one here is home right and that's her logo. So so does her logo take you home? Oh. I'm glad I learned that for when I go to make the logo. I thought this was just sitting here. I had no idea that was a button. So this um this logo here in the in all the way to the right. I that's so weird you guys can't see my cursor. I always forget that when you're streaming, you can't see my cursor. Anyway, that that's what that first one is here. This first one is her logo. Now this one here is home. Now this one here God damn it. Where's everything else? Home? Am I tripping? Where is like resume, work, blog, contact? I was expecting to see that. Container, row. This is the um, site logo, yeah. Header, right, flex, Bustami, main, menu, wrap. Display, flex, align items. So is it, all, is it all wrapped up in here? Home. I don't even see the link to her, um, her damn. Oh, is this them right here? The dark mode, light mode stuff is making this difficult to decipher. Maybe this is coming from another component. All right, let's see. Let's see the, the other way that I always figure this stuff out. Let's just go ahead. Since I'm looking for resume, let's go ahead and search the project for resume. Control Shift F and we'll type resume to see what the hell is going on here. So in page JSX blog homes resume. We might, oh, menu. So that was header two, but here's a menu component also. There's a menu component somewhere. Let's look at that. Resume two. Yeah, that's there, but what about this JavaScript menu data here? I think this is it. <clears throat> I think this right here is the menu items. Yeah, that's what it is. I didn't add that. This is a template. They know how to add it to the project. <laughs> I mean, we can copy that if we need to. 
that's what that's what that was in um where'd it go we were at header two no we were we were here right no we weren't i just got lost let's close some of these tag tabs man it was header two right yeah we'll make our way back there eventually that's what that was though but all right so so menu items here we are so this is it and we're made so what he did was this is actually smart because for those of you who, who just got here this is a template within templates there's three templates in one and we chose the second one to build off of right so he's got this it's broken up in so many different like weird ways and then he just imported it each in each template so he only had so every template had he only had to build this stuff one time and then like use those lego blocks it to build his his three different ones into one you know what i mean all right so so anyway constant menu items we're on we're menu two i'm believing that we're menu two so let's go ahead and remove blog because she's not going to be blogging for sure and let's just see if this if this breaks everything we're going to take this one out delete that hopefully it like um configures and shit right oh it's it's gone it's gone and everything slid over correctly that's what i was worried about i was worried there would be an empty space here but there isn't and it doesn't even matter for the mobile view either because you're doing your um hamburger it's not in there so the next one we want to take away is resume i'm gonna leave works because she was telling me something about getting her um getting certain things from her linkedin and putting it into works Let's see what she talking about some maybe like her licenses or something she wanted me to put something into the work section like something that she does she's like can you put my something in here i'm gonna ask her about that later when i show this to her i'm gonna ask her about that but um anyway let's take out resume as well resume two this one here delete this save and now that's gone as well so check it out we got home section it's gonna be this basically right and follow and connect which led you to her linkedin is now contact me oh wait wait oh no 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 contact me is the contact form i was about to say we forgot to do that linkedin takes you to her linkedin that's perfect and then um about shit i just left her website this is her old website where we're basically turning her old her old wordpress into react um so we're gonna take from this about me section we're gonna take this picture and we're gonna put that picture here right and we're gonna take her all of this stuff here and we're gonna put that here and then we're most likely gonna have to delete all of these because she doesn't want no nobody calling her or emailing her or nothing from this but what i do is gonna be all of this stuff here and then um clients this stuff here it's gonna be this that's why i chose this template because i was like man everything fits and then i ran it i ran it by her and she's like yeah i like the color i, I see why i see why you you chose that sure go for it so cool I, I said all right bet let's do it and then for works 
she's gonna give me like I'm gonna I'm talk to her about this later and then contact me it's gonna work so cool that's where we're at but that's gonna have to be part two because it's now 2 30 in the morning and I kind of got to get up early tomorrow I got like a day with the family so we're gonna go ahead and and wrap it up here let's schedule to do this again tomorrow night right around the same time i'll probably be home eastern time like i'll probably hop up here around the same time like at, at eight if y'all want to see part two when we when we go and we configure the rest of this section here but have i heard about the new tech app connecting templates yeah man right right it's a good time good time to stop man yo shout out to y'all bro for being here with me struggling helping me carlos bro help me figure out the uh you know the target underscore blank i'm gonna never forget that man and look we got eight people in here so shout out to everybody if y'all aren't a member of the digital builders yet join the link in the description you know what i mean everybody have a great day we all learning, growing together, man. Y'all who know more than me, teaching me. I appreciate y'all for that. And yo, it's it's lit. We're up. We're building. We're going to be going doing this type of stuff for a long time. You know what I mean? So everybody have a good day. Middle fingers up. We out. Everybody have a good night. <laughs> Peace. Oh, wait.